Yo, 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 yo. Okay, we're going to talk about the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. So this is what we're going to do. We use a Pythagorean theorem when we're already, we already know that it's a right triangle. So if I already know that I have a right triangle, I use the Pythagorean theorem. Ooh, that was an ugly right triangle. Let's try that again, Mr. G. So if I know that I have a right triangle, there's my right angle. If I'm given this, I use Pythagorean theorem to figure out what one of the missing side lengths are. So the converse is when I'm already given the side lengths, but I don't know if it's a right triangle or not. So it's when we're going to do it in a little bit different way. So now I'm going to be given the side lengths, and I have to use Pythagorean theorem to prove whether or not this is going to be a right angle. Okay. So let me just show you what I'm talking about. So right here, what I have is I have three lengths of a triangle. I have 9, 40, and 41. What I'm going to do is I'm going to determine, can I use these three side lengths to make a right triangle? If they make a right triangle, then that means that would have to, Pythagorean theorem would have to work for those three side lengths. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem, and I'm going to plug these values in to see if the left side is equal to the right side. If it works, they make a right triangle. If it doesn't work, they do not make a right triangle. Now, one thing to point out is the hypotenuse always has to be the longest of the three sides. So because 41 is the longest side, 41 has to be the c squared, the hypotenuse. So we don't just go in the order that it gives us the numbers. The hypotenuse is always the largest side. So I have 9 squared plus 40 squared equals the largest side is 41, so it'd be 41 squared. And now it's just a matter of plugging these in to see, does this work? Is the left side equal to the right side? So I'm just going to multiply these and add them together and simplify each side and then go from there. And then if they're equal, then it's a right triangle. If they're not, then it's not a right triangle. So when I do 9 squared, I get 81. 14 squared, 40 squared is 1,600. 41 squared is 1,680. So now I got to add these up. I get 1,681. So the left side and the right side are identical. That means it works out. And yes, this is a right triangle. So these side lengths do make a right triangle. Okay, so now looking at this one. I have 8, 10, 12. 12 is the largest side. So 12 has to be by itself. So I'm going to see this 8 squared plus 10 squared equals 12 squared. That's 64 plus 100. 12 squared is 144. 164 does not equal 144. So no, it is not a right triangle. So that's it. We're just plugging in our side values, simplifying to see if they are equal or not equal to each other. Okay, so like Katya right here is buying edging for a triangular flower garden. She plans to build in her backyard. We have the length of the three side pieces, 13, 10, and 7. We want to figure out if it can make the shape of a right triangle. So if I know the side lengths are 13, 10, and 7, what I need to do is I need to plug those into Pythagorean theorem and determine if they will work. The biggest thing is 13 feet is the largest side, so 13 feet has to be by itself. And then the two legs are the two smaller sides. So I can plug them in and determine this is going to work out. Or I can multiply and simplify to determine if it's going to work out. So 10 squared, 49, that's 149. And 13 squared is 169. It does not work. So therefore, no. The flower garden will not be in the shape of a right triangle because the Pythagorean theorem does not work. So go ahead and try this top one on your own at this point, please. So try this one, just this top one, this first one, uh, the one with the glass, and uh, see how you do. So pause the video and try it and see what happens. So I know it's going to be 18 squared plus 19 squared equals 25 squared. So I gotta plug these into the calculator because I don't know what they are. 
So that's 324 plus, let's see, 19 squared, 361, and then 25 squared, so 625. That one's not too new. So now I gotta add 324 and 361 to see if they equal 300, 625. I know they don't equal each other by looking at it, but I'm gonna add them up. I get 685. So therefore, it does not make the shape of a right triangle. Pythagorean theorem does not work. Okay, finally, we have Lachandra using the grid paper to construct the triangle. So she's using grid paper to make the triangle. Now we want to figure out the side lengths here. So now this is where we can just use a grid paper to count the side lengths. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So those are the side lengths. So now we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem to determine did she, it looks like a right triangle, like this looks like a right angle, but it could be 89 degrees. It might not make a perfect 90. So we have to use Pythagorean theorem to prove whether or not this is a right triangle. So go ahead and fill in the boxes, fill it out, and answer the final question. Pause it, try it, see how you do. Okay, so I know it's 6 squared plus 8 squared equals 10 squared. 10 squared has to be on the right side. The 6 and the 8, it doesn't matter what order you have these in. That's 36, 64, and 100. We do get 100 equals 100. So it is. Things to remember. Largest side is always the hypotenuse. Okay, and then remember the hypotenuse is the C. You can write C if you need to as well for hypotenuse. Okay, independent practice. You should be able to do these too. Show your work, get them done. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. Good to be us out.